Does vitamin K2 increase bone density? Vitamin K2 and osteoporosis. Human trials show that taking 45 milligrams of vitamin K2 daily increases bone density and reduces fracture risk. Osteoporosis affects both men and women equally. This condition will fracture approximately 50% of American women and 25% of American men aged 50 and older. Broken bones are a leading cause of disability. Up to 20% of patients over the age of 50 will die within a year of suffering a hip fracture. Doctors in Japan have been prescribing high doses of vitamin K2 as a prescription drug for decades to prevent bone loss and fractures. It is now available without a prescription in the United States. Clinical trials have shown that 45 mg of vitamin K2 can help with slow bone loss, reduce fracture risk, build new bone, a two-year study of elderly osteoporosis patients found that high-dose vitamin K2 reduced the number of vertebral fractures by half. The risk of osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a condition that causes bones to become weak, brittle, and prone to fractures. After one fracture, the risk of future breaks increases by 86%. Hip and vertebral fractures are particularly associated with loss of mobility and the risk of death. People who suffer a vertebral fracture have an eight-fold increase in mortality when compared to other people their age. Almost any type of broken bone increases the risk of death in the elderly. That is why it is critical to not only slow, but also reverse bone loss as soon as it begins. When comparing the left and right images, the increase in dark areas involving this cross-section of the femur are simplified visual depictions of the osteoporosis-related increase in bone marrow fat and thinning in cancellous, trapecular bone. How bone loss occurs. The body is constantly breaking down old bone and forming new bone. Bone density increases during the first decades of life. Then it settles for another two decades. Bone density begins to decline around the age of 40. The onset of menopause accelerates the rate of bone loss in women. This decrease in bone mineral density results in a decrease in bone strength. Even minor injuries and stress fractures that occur during normal movement cause bones to become brittle and prone to fracture. Osteopenia is the term for the early stage of bone deterioration. Osteoporosis develops if no action is taken and bone density continues to decline. Osteoporosis is defined as bone with pores or holes. Most people with osteopenia or osteoporosis are unaware of their condition until it is too late when they suffer a fracture. High-dose vitamin K2 improves bone health. Osteoporosis is characterized by bone loss and an increased risk of serious fractures. These fractures pose a significant risk of death in people over the age of 50. For decades, high-dose vitamin K2, in the form of MK4, has been used in Japan as an osteoporosis treatment. Human trials have shown that daily intake of 45 mg of vitamin K2 maintains or increases bone density and reduces the risk of fractures. Other vitamins and minerals, such as calcium and vitamin D3, promote bone health and help to maximize the benefits of vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 in high concentration. The good news is that there is something we can do about age-related bone loss and fracture risk. Vitamin K promotes normal blood clotting in low doses of 45 minus 60 mcg. This small amount of vitamin K is normally obtained through diet. Japanese doctors have long prescribed much higher doses of a specific form of vitamin K2 as an osteoporosis treatment. Decades of research have shown that 45 mg of vitamin K2 in the form of menaquinon 4 improves bone health. Scientists have now confirmed that taking high-dose vitamin K2 orally is essential for bone strength and other aspects of healthy aging. Bone density has increased. Vitamin K2 has been shown in human trials to maintain or even increase bone mineral density. It also helps to prevent fractures in older patients with osteoporosis. Japanese researchers randomized older osteoporosis patients into two groups in one of these studies. One participant received only 150 mg of calcium per day. The other was given the same low calcium dose as well as 45 mg of vitamin K2 daily. Over a two-year period, 
Patients who received only calcium continued to lose bone density, dropping by about 3% over a two-year period. Patients who received vitamin K2 in addition to calcium maintained their bone mineral density largely. A 10% decrease in bone density more than doubles the risk of vertebral and hip fractures. This suggests that patients in this study who were only given calcium may be at a higher risk of fracture. However, supplementing calcium with vitamin K2 significantly slowed bone loss, potentially preventing an increase in fracture risk. Patients who received K2 had significantly higher levels of active osteocalcin. This protein binds calcium to bone, assisting the body in the conversion of calcium into healthy new bone. Fracture Prevention In the same study, researchers looked at the effect of vitamin K2 on the occurrence of bone fractures. During the two-year study, the calcium-only group sustained 35 fractures, while the vitamin K2 group sustained only 14 fractures. Another Japanese clinical trial looked at the effect of vitamin K2 on women with osteoporosis. Taking 45 mg of oral vitamin K2 daily, maintained mineral density to a significantly greater extent than the untreated group, and reduced the incidence of vertebral fractures to a degree comparable to the drug etidronate. Etidronate belongs to the class of drugs known as bisphosphonates. It is used to treat Paget's disease, a condition characterized by soft, weak, or easily broken bones. It is sometimes used to treat osteoporosis, but it can cause nausea, diarrhea, heartburn, chest pain, and skin blisters. Vitamin K2, on the other hand, has no known side effects. The heart benefits of vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 stimulates new bone growth by increasing calcification, or the accumulation of calcium deposits in the bone. Calcification in soft tissues can be dangerous. It causes the formation of atherosclerotic plaque in blood vessels, which is associated with cardiovascular disease. While vitamin K2 causes beneficial calcification in bones, it also prevents harmful calcification in soft tissues, including blood vessels, according to research. This happens because it activates the matrix GLA protein, which prevents blood vessel calcification. As a result, vitamin K2 may be beneficial in the prevention of cardiovascular disease. Anyone who is taking warfarin, a powerful anticoagulant, should consult a doctor before taking any form of vitamin K. Warfarin works by inhibiting vitamin K activity in the body. Warfarin users are advised to limit their vitamin K intake, even from healthy vegetables. Anticoagulant effects are provided by newer drugs such as Aliquis, Pradaxa, and Xerilto without the need to restrict vitamin K intake. How Vitamin K2 Maintains Bone Strength Vitamin K2 works by rebalancing the two types of bone cells that influence bone density, osteoclasts and osteoblasts. Osteoclasts degrade old bone. Osteoblasts are responsible for bone formation. A balance of activity between these two types of cells is required for healthy bone. This delicate balance is thrown off by aging. Osteoblast activity has surpassed osteoclast activity. Bone degrades faster than new bone is formed. Bone density declines, resulting in osteopenia and osteoporosis. In preclinical studies, vitamin K2 has been shown to promote an increase in bone-building osteoblast activity and a decrease in bone-destroying osteoclast activity. More bone is built, less bone is destroyed, and bone mineral density is maintained or increased when this balance is restored. Furthermore, osteoblasts require the protein osteocalcin in order to lay down new bone. Vitamin K2 aids in the conversion of osteocalcin into its active form. Vitamin K2 Supporting Nutrients When combined with other nutrients, vitamin K2 has an even greater bone-building effect. The vitamins and minerals listed below help to maintain strong, healthy bones. Calcium is the primary mineral that contributes to the hard matrix of bone. Most studies show that taking calcium orally reduces the rate of bone breakdown and mineral loss. Vitamin D aids in the absorption of calcium from the intestine after a meal and stimulates the production of osteocalcin. It also helps calcium move from the blood and other extracellular fluids to the surface of bones, where it strengthens them and makes them less likely to break.
Vitamin D also aids in the absorption of the bone-strengthening trace elements zinc and manganese. Magnesium, like calcium, forms the mineral matrix of bone and is required for healthy bone density. Zinc, manganese, silicon, and boron are all elements. These minerals have been shown to be essential for healthy bone formation and maintenance. Each of these minerals is linked to bone loss and increased intake improves bone health in both animals and humans. Vitamin K2, when combined with these nutrients, can provide significant protection against fractures and bone loss.